I've always loved the idea of getting toys with fast food meals. You got some nice junk food to eat, and when you're done that, you can just play with the toy. Of course, they almost always end up being thrown in a corner or drawer of your room, and you don't touch it for years, but that's not important here. Kids Meals toys are really interesting to look back on. Sometimes they're genuinely cool, and other times they work more as collectibles. Well, what do you get when you combine the long history of SpongeBob SquarePants with the world of fast food promotions? A ton of awesome stuff over the years. Now let me be clear, this video won't be going over every single toy release because honestly that's just too much. Instead I'll be going over some of the highlights and talking about the best Spongebob tie-ins since the beginning of his show on Nickelodeon. Oh yeah, and I have a few of my own collectibles, so we'll be taking a closer look at those. In 1999, Spongebob needed some time to actually grow a large audience. That's why fast food toys weren't released immediately and instead people had to wait two years for things to really kick off. Burger King was the most prominent fast food partnership with Spongebob at the time, and 2001 is where we finally got to see the sponge invade kids meals across the globe. <laughs> From this commercial, the lineup doesn't look too bad. You got all the main characters, except for some reason, Ms. Krabs is nowhere to be found. Press F to pay respects. In 2002, there was a very special Spongebob episode about to premiere on TV, going by the name Spongebob's House Party, but Party Pooper Pants officially. When you have a big episode like this, it only makes sense to have a fast food tie-in to promote that episode and why not? Everyone goes to McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, you name it. And with this popularity, kids are probably gonna watch the special when they see information on their toys. Instead of Burger King, Wendy's had their own lineup to advertise Spongebob's house party and let's go! I have all of them right here. You'll notice they have that classic logo smacked on to make sure people tune in. Take the first one out of the bag and sweet, it's Gary the Snail. You can shake him for basically nothing to happen, but the real magic around arrives when he's on a flat surface. Not an interesting or creative toy design, though it still works as a neat collectible, I guess. And then we have Patrick Starr, the true star of the show. At first, it looks like just a normal figure that does absolutely nothing, but take a gander at his back and something weird is going on here. Looks like he has a disease or something. You're supposed to fill it up with water and play some game with it, but I didn't feel like doing that. Next up is a celebrating SpongeBob just having a great time for the party, but he's not not really a toy, just a simple notepad. On every page is his most clip art design of giving the thumbs up. Now here's the poster, which is probably the coolest collectible out of the bunch. It works as something you can put up in your room if you're really into Spongebob, but the activities on it are nice too. Also the best part is that it's a party poster to get you hyped and ready to party. On the back is a treasure map. Your goal is to use the blue chest that came with the poster, then scan around for the yellow trail. It's alright, pretty creative stuff. Oh yeah, and Sandy's body apparently turned into a pen? I don't know, she's probably in a ton of pain right now, but let's make that worse by writing with her in the Spongebob party notepad. And it doesn't work. One of the highlights in the entirety of Spongebob history is 2004, when the first movie made it to theaters. This would act as the true series finale, and it really holds up today if you go back and watch. Everything about it is hilarious. Anyway, back then there were a ton of advertisements and special promotions to make sure people head out to theaters, so it it wasn't surprising to see movie toys enter kids meals. What makes this certain year better than others is that a few originally animated shorts were made for the occasion, specifically for the Burger King toys. I like square bucks and I cannot lie. Squid and sea star can't deny. No, not that one. Go back, go back! First, we have Pants Casso, which was actually worked on by the SpongeBob crew. I mean, there's even storyboards! Everything here was made just for the Burger King tie ins, so it was like some nice bonus content you'd get in a sea of annoying commercials. Along with this, we got the short titled Watch Me, and this one is probably better than the other. Watch that! Watch me! Watch us! Watch your step! Watch your head! Watch where you're going! Watch this! SpongeBob, watch out! Watch out! That's a good one, Patrick! Ah. 
It was a way to promote the SpongeBob Movie watches, which by the way, were separate from the initial toys. Here we go. I have the entire movie collection from Burger King. Don't question my life choices. I regret nothing. Inside each toy, you'll find a special paper promoting the SpongeBob Movie and whoa, it's the official Burger King Big Kids membership application. Hope I make it in. Patrick's toy is that classic spinner thing. You just stab him with this purple, take it out, then watch him go. It doesn't work on carpet though, so that's just disappointing. Sandy's toy is pressing the bottom of her boots and then karate! So the instruction manual for the Spongebob figure said that he does something when you shake him, but it doesn't work. I guess that's what happens with 15 year old toys. However, what's cool is that this one in particular comes with a joke book. Let's take a look inside, shall we? Why is Spongebob so smart? Because he absorbs everything! <laughs> what kind of fish only swims at night? A starfish! <laughs> okay. What kind of plan really stings? A plan B. I'm done here. There's a pretty cool Squidward toy where you gotta put stuff together, but the end result is his cashier position at the Krusty Krab. If you pull back on his shirt, little Krabby Patty pieces fly out. Probably one of the more unique toys so far. SpongeBob Rubik's Cube. That's it. There's really not much more to say about this. Here we have Plankton holding Neptune's crown, but he has to make a daring escape. That's why you wind him up, let him go, and look at those legs! Patrick in the paddy wagon? Nice! All you have to do is turn it on and he starts speeding around like crazy. Only two out of the four wheels actually work, and again, this is what happens after 15 years, I guess. This SpongeBob cube is supposed to be a recorder where he can repeat whatever you say, but uh, that doesn't work out. Hey guys, it's me, your friendly neighborhood SpongeBob! Now play. 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 I paid money for this. Welcome back to Broken Toys. Things are supposed to happen when I press these two buttons, but SpongeBob isn't even in the right position. I tried shaking him as much as possible and nothing ended up working, so I guess I'll never see this toy in its full glory. <laughs> yeah, whoa, look at this, you guys. Oh my god. SpongeBob is dead. Sorry, Spongebob Movie Toy number 7 superfans, I've let you all down. So you don't want to sleep tonight? Well, here are some nightmares. Click a button on Spongebob's back and his eyes change like a slot machine. Teaching kids how to gamble in slots at an early age. Classic Burger King. Here's Plankton with an eye that's supposed to move when you shake it. Look at Gary go! The overall Spongebob movie collection isn't bad by any means. I mean, kids can have some enjoyment with them, but they're also pretty standard. Only a few are genuinely worth getting. Like, come on, who doesn't want a Patrick Paddy Wagon car? I'd say the best toys out of this bunch are the Paddy Wagon and Squidward's cashier boat. After 2004, there were still some interesting Spongebob fast food promotions, but they were basically all the stuff you expect. For many of the show's specials, there would be tie-ins with that theme, like how in 2005, all of these were made to celebrate friend or foe. Over time, kids meal toys got a bit less creative, sometimes they all end up being too similar. If we fast forward to 2015, McDonald's had a tie-in with Sponge Out of Water, and look at this! They're all just similar figures of the characters, except a Spongebob bubble blower, but everything else is boring. Ah! <laughs> Now that we've gone through a small part of Spongebob Kids Meal Toy history, I want to know your thoughts. Is there a specific tie-in that stands out from the rest? And also, which toy from this video do you like the most? Let's talk in the comments. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and come up below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.